Hey everyone, this is Chuck here with MEC. In this video, I want to highlight one of the most popular web pages we have on our website, and that is port forwarding video games for Xbox and PlayStation. Now, this topic is quite techy. In fact, you need a laptop in order to access the settings of the router, and that can be a little complicated. So do your best to follow along. If at any point in this video, it just seems a bit too techy for you, then give us a call. Our tech support would be happy to help you out. I recommend using a laptop that is connected to either Wi-Fi or Ethernet directly to the MEC router. Here I have a Windows computer, and the first thing we're gonna do is identify what the default gateway and the admin login and password is. The easiest way to find this is on the bottom of the MEC router. There is a sticker, and one of the lines has the default gateway IP address as well as your unique login information. On the computer, open a browser. For this case, we're going to use Microsoft Edge and enter that IP address, 192.168.1.1. And you will get to our MEC router login screen. Put in your unique code and log in. Now, for this video, unfortunately, I do not have an Xbox connected. However, I have many devices that we can use as an example. I would simply like to use this Apple iPhone as an example. It is an Apple iPhone Pro Max 5G, and if I hover over it, I can see the IP address is 192.168.1.149. We're going to need to reserve that IP for that device. When you're doing this following along with me, make sure to choose the Xbox, PlayStation, or PC that you want to port forward. Step one, go to Advanced, IP Address, and DHCP Reservation. We want to choose the Apple iPhone 13 Pro Max at IP address ending in 149, and we're going to keep that same IP address. So scroll down to 149 and apply. As we can see here in the DHCP reservation list, we now have the Apple iPhone 13 Pro Max reserved for the IP ending in 149. This would be your Xbox or PC or PlayStation, whatever you're trying to port forward. Next, we want to go down to the security and the option for port forwarding. We're going to need to know what ports we need to forward. Each game has its own ports. I'm going to use an example of Call of Duty Warzone. When I do a Google search for Call of Duty Warzone port forwarding, I get a website that's not actually from Activision, the publisher. So I'm going to look for that one. That would be my preferred one. Here, this website is support.activision.com. I think that's going to give me the most accurate information. This website lists many games. I'm looking for Warzone, and I found it. In this example, I'm going to pretend that the iPhone is an Xbox. So, this Xbox requires one TCP port to be opened and several UDP ports to be opened. Make sure you only use the ports from the platform that you're using. In this case, I'm just going to do the Xbox. And this is a bit of a tedious process. There's no better way than to do it one at a time. So, TCP 3074. We're going to head back into the router. We're going to create a new port forwarding. We're going to choose the iPhone that we had reserved, TCP 3074. And apply. Now we have one entry for TCP 3074 for that Xbox. Now, we repeat that process several times over here. We have 88 is the next one for UDP. So we're going to create a new entry. We're going to choose the iPhone, which would be your Xbox or PC. We're going to change this to UDP. And we need port 88. And apply. Finally, I'm going to show you how to enter a range of IP addresses all at once. 
If we're pretending that I have a PC instead of an iPhone now, we can see that the TCP ports require a large range of IPs, 27014 to 27050. If we head back into the router and we create a new port forwarding entry, we choose that iPhone, which would be your PC, we can enter the beginning of the port, 27014, and end at 27050. And that's a way to create a lot of ports very quickly. 27014, 27050, and apply. Now in this case, to be very clear, if you have an Xbox, you only want to enter the Xbox ports. If you have a PC, you only want to enter the PC ports. So with that being said, I have entered Xbox and PC ports, which is a mistake. I actually want to delete these ports because I entered them by accident. Back in this list, we can select the ones we entered by accident and simply remove. When you're finished, your list is going to have many more entries than this, depending on the game and depending on the platform that you have. And that's how the experts do it. Now keep in mind, most video games will automatically allocate a firewall port, so you won't have to go through that process. But if you are having trouble playing online, keep in mind that this process may help you. Game on, and remember, together our future is bright.